afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Besmeyer Field for our very special 2024 Softball Alumni Day. Today, we celebrate the history and legacy of Union University Softball by welcoming back our incredible alumni who have graced this diamond. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished alumni who are here with us. Please hold your applause until all names have been announced. Kristen Richardson, Gabby Wardlow, Grace White, Kristen Pickens, Alex Williams, Keaton Overton, Candace Smith, Rachel Murray Buchanan, Idalia Alarcon, Brandy Arthur, Taylor Manley, Kelly DeHan, Megan Corey Hammond, Christina French, Sarah Pickard, and Ashton Canada. Let's give a warm round of applause for these outstanding athletes who have not only excelled on the field, but have also represented Union University with pride and excellence throughout their careers and beyond. Thank you alumni for your dedication and for being an inspiration to our current and future athletes. Today, as we celebrate your achievements and memories, we are reminded of the strong community and lasting legacy of Union University softball. Today, we will have an honorary first pitch thrown by Miss Rachel Murray Buchanan. She was part of the 2003 NAIA World Series third place Union softball team. She is an All-American and a distinguished member of the Union Hall of Fame. <laughs> Batting now number 17, Lexi Scalzo. Batting now, number 27, Haley Simcoe.
Batting now number 23, Javaria Smith. Batting now number 10, Riley Goodridge. Welcome to Vesmire Field. My name is Grace White. Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a hectic few minutes up here in the press box as the alumni events were taking place over the baseball field as the softball game was starting. But here we are. It's the top of the first. Lee, Lee has had a base hit so far. Two outs. Riley Vaughn did strike out a batter. It was one of the outs. And so that's a called strike on Riley Goodridge. Just now joining us. It's a little late for game two to be starting, but that's because uh, game one went long. It went nine innings. And that'll do it for Lee as uh, Riley Vaughn and the Lady Bulldogs hold Lee at bay after, and they strand a runner. And we're headed to the bottom of the first where you will look to strike first. Are you looking for a Christian college or starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed.
bottom of the first here at Fessmeyer Field in Jackson, Tennessee in this rubber, rubber match between the Lady Bulldogs of Union University and the Lady Flames of Lee University. Both games so far have gone to extra innings as Lee prevailed in game one last night and won four to three in eight innings. The Lady Bulldogs just walked it off in game two, 11 to 10 in nine innings. At the plate for Union is Morgan Jennings, the leadoff. She's a center fielder in this game for Union. In the circle, Olivia Tyson. Ground ball to second. Morgan Jennings almost beats that out, but is out by a step. And that'll bring Macy Neal to the plate. Neal was two for five with three RBIs and two runs scored in game two. Just a little bit ago, she hit a two-run home run. Batting now number two. As well as an Macy RBI single. Neal. Olivia Tyson threw three innings last game for Lee. She gave up one run, which happened to be the walk-off run, so she took the loss, making her record 10-11 and 11 overall for the season. So another ball to Macy Neal, so it's 2-0 and oh with the Victory. The Lady Bulldogs are now 12 and 11 in Gulf South Conference play, and Lee University falls to 10 and 13. This game right here can go a long way in determining who will be a part of the Gulf South Conference tournament in a couple of weeks, as they are each fighting for a spot in the tournament. Count is two and one to Macy Neal. And a foul ball out of play. He wins the count at two. And that'll be a line drive caught by the second baseman for Lee, that is Laney Harris out there. Retires Neal for the second out of the inning and that'll bring up Courtney Marler, the catcher this afternoon for Union. Marler was one for four with an RBI and a run scored in game one, and, I mean game two, I should say, game one of this doubleheader today, but game two in the series. See if she can get a two out rally going here against Olivia Tyson. And that's gonna be a pop fly falls in the Bermuda Triangle out there in between the center fielder, right fielder, and second baseman. So a two-out hit for Marler, and that'll bring first baseman Zoe Neal to the plate. Neal was three for five with three RBIs in game two. Hit the game-tying base hit 12, in Zoe Neal. that game. Ball low, 1 0. It's going to be a pop fly and shortstop. Alexa Scalzo is going to haul that in, so that'll do it as the Lady Bulldogs strand a runner. And we're headed to the second inning. Score still tied, 0 0. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. 
When you hear our name, know that it comes with a promise to give back to the community that built us, a promise to provide a human touch in a world that is becoming more automated. Ever since we put our roots down in Jackson in 1996, we have aspired to be community focused by supporting programs and organizations that are important to our city. At First Bank, it is our mission to be present in our community and to continue the belief that when you bank local, you get more. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Bessemer Field. We're in the top of the second here in game three between the Lady Bulldogs of Union and the Lady Flames of Lee. Lady Harris is at the plate for the Lady Flames. She was two for four with two runs scored in game two. Takes that one for a ball outside, 1-0. Oh. Swing and a miss there. Aims the count at one. Vaughn has a six and four record so far this season. The 4.49 ERA, three complete games, 77 strikeouts, second most on the Lady Bulldogs staff, and a 203 batting average against. And fouls that down the right side, giving chase David, but she wasn't able to get there quite in time as that ball was hooking away from her. So it's a long strike, one and two the count. And a ball there it makes it a 2-2 two -two count. No outs so far in this top of the second. Fouled off, goes in the Union dugout. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number one of the game. For, well, two, I should say. Uh, for Vaughn, so. Batting now number 12, Annalyn Ormsby. So Annalyn Ormsby at the plate. Called strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 1. Strike two, quickly 0 and 2 to the Lee center fielder. And that'll be another strikeout for Vaughn, second out of the inning. Her fourth strikeout of the afternoon. Batting now, number After eight, the, Allison Jarvin. Uh, rush at the beginning, uh, getting caught back up on the stats. So her fourth strikeout, allowed only one hit so far. Allison Jarvie at the plate, the lead third baseman. Takes that for a ball, 1-0. She fights that one off. It's going to be fair, and Riley Vaughn will field it and tag Jarvie on her way to first. So three up, three down for the Lady Bulldogs in the top of the second inning. We're headed to the bottom half of the inning, still tied 0-0. Your life. Your home. 
your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. And we're back here in the bottom of the second inning with Brooke Puckett set to lead off the inning. Puckett was three for five in... Game two earlier today, scored two runs. She was also two for three in game one of the series, and that's a base hit for Puckett. So she is having quite a weekend, adding to it there with a base hit back up the middle to lead off the second inning. Mackenzie David coming to the plate. McKenzie, And she slashes it down to first, and she stops in the line, so the first baseman has no choice but to tag McKenzie David out, so she advances Brooke Puckett to second. Does her job there. So runner in scoring position with one out, and designated player Haley Sites at the plate. This will be Sipes' first at bat of the weekend, but she did pinch run and score the walk-off winning run after a pass ball in game two. She'll take that one for a ball. Swing and a miss there. He was a count at one, one and one. And that's strike two on that swing and a miss. One and two the count. And evens the count at 2-2 there with that ball from Olivia Tyson. Fouled off over the first base dugout. Staying alive here is Haley Sipes of Newburn, Tennessee. Came to Union after her time at Dyersburg State Community College in her second season with Lady Bulldogs, senior this season. That's a ball, so full count now, 3-2. And that'll be ball four, so Haley Sipes takes a walk. That puts the runners on first and second for the Lady Bulldogs with one out. And second baseman Briley Carneal coming to the plate.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. Carneal was one for four with an RBI and a run scored in game two. Has had some very lengthy quality at bats this, se this series so far. See if she can find a hole here. Scrum ball foul down the third baseline. So Owen won the count. Comes the 0-1 pitch from Olivia Tyson. Shows bunt, pulls back. It's going to be a strike, so 0-2 the count. swings and misses at that ball so that's a strikeout for Tyson her first of the afternoon and the second out of this inning so two outs runners on first and second Sarah Kate Thompson coming to the plate she is a junior transfer from Itawamba Community Kate College Thompson. playing third base for the Lady Bulldogs and off speed pitch Line drive caught by the third baseman, Jarvie. So, Lady Bulldogs leave two stranded, cannot break through, and that'll send us to the top of the third. Riley Vaughn still in the circle for Union. The award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Bethel, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. back in the top of the third inning in the rubber match of this three-game series between Union and Lee. Riley Vaughn back in the circle for Union. She struck out four, had allowed only one hit so far. Ava Perkins, the designated player in this game for Lee, is at the plate. First time we've seen her this weekend. Perkins is a freshman from Cartersville, Georgia, graduate of Cartersville High School. Takes that one for a called strike. So two and one the count. Perkins is hitting 342. Has had 38 at bats, 13 hits, 16 runs scored, three doubles, four home runs, 11 RBIs, getting on base 49% of the time. And leaving the count at two. 
She gets her first look at Riley Vaughn and the Lady Bulldogs. It's ball high, so full count now, 3-2. that one off. Another foul ball. It's the net behind home plate and ends up in the stands. Another 3-2 pitch coming from Riley Vaughn. And it's going to be ball four, so a leadoff walk in this inning for the Lady Flames. And that'll bring up the left fielder, Shelby Cole. Cole hasn't Batting now, number one, done as, that much at the plate, James. but in the field she has been spectacular for the Lady Flames, catching just about everything Excuse that's me. come Shelby to Cole. left field. I'm not sure what head coach Sydney Sterner is arguing there, but they're going to looks like they might be calling her out. Might be calling Perkins out down there at first, but not sure. Or they may have been saying a check swing. So Perkins will be out. So that's one out in the inning, and she'll be Cole at the plate. Not sure what the call is on that, but they are going to call Perkins out. So one out. She'll be called at the plate. She swings the first pitch, fouls it back off the net. So Owen won the count. Called strike. Well, actually a ball. One one. So the call earlier that call, made Perkins out was that she ran in first base while, the pit, while Riley Vaughn was already in the circle, and so that means that she was out. So that is the official ruling on the field. And Shelby Cole fouls that one off. Interesting call on that play, but Lady Bulldogs will take it so that because that means there's one out in the inning and nobody on base. With Cole at the plate after Cole, at the top of the Lady Flames order comes up. And they're going to check and see if she went. Did she go? She did not. So it's going to be a full count now to Shelby Cole. And 
a strike called, so that'll be a strikeout looking for Cole. Second out of the inning. Fifth strikeout of the afternoon for Ali Vaughn. Batting now number 17, Lexi Scalzo. And that'll bring the top of the order up for Lee, Alexis Scalzo, the shortstop. She's 0 for 1 with a strikeout so far today. It's ball high and out. 1 and 0. Oh. That's going to be another ball as the as Scalzo pulls that bunt attempt back on that ball outside. Wind blowing in now at Festmeyer Field. It's a beautiful day for softball. And you check her swing. Did she go? She did not. So 3 and 0 the count. So if you stuck around in between games, you probably saw the alumni ceremony happening here at the ballpark today. It was nice to see uh, some girls that I had played with and uh, others that had been before me. Uh, great day all the way around. That's a foul ball back, so count is three and one. It's going to be a ground ball past the diving Sarah Kate Thompson at third, so a two-out base hit for Scalzo, her first of the of game three. That'll bring the catcher, Haley Simcoe, to the plate. She's one for one in this game so far. Batting now number 27, Haley Simcoe. Simcoe has been the catcher today. She was uh, switched out. Her and Bella Galloway switched in the middle of game two earlier. And... That'll be a stolen base for Scalzo. She's able to beat the throw in tag from Courtney Marler and Macy Neal. So a runner in scoring position now for the Lady Flames with Simcoe still at the plate and an 0-1 count. Ball, oh, called strike. 0-2. So in this game, behind the plate is Michael Loden. It's going to be a fly ball caught by Morgan Jennings in center field, and that'll do it for the, late, for the Lady Flames in this top half of the third. We're headed to the bottom of the third. Score still tied, 0-0. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. When you hear our name, know that it comes with a promise to give back to the community that built us. A promise to provide a human touch in a world that is becoming more automated. Ever since we put our roots down in Jackson in 1996, we have aspired to be community focused by supporting programs and organizations that are important to our city. At First Bank, it is our mission to be present in our community and to continue the belief that when you bank local, you get more. Member FDIC. We're back at Festmeyer Field, home of the Lady Bulldogs of Union University. We're in the bottom of the third inning here in this rubber match between the Lady Flames and the Lady Bulldogs. Morgan Jennings at the plate for Union, top of the order coming up. Things are over one so far today in this game. Earlier today she was three for five, so looking to extend that here in this game. Off-speed pitch, called a strike, 0-2. Oh and 
and fouled straight back. Olivia Tyson still in the circle for the Lady Flames. She has struck out one, walked one, and allowed two hits, but neither pitcher has allowed a run so far in this game. After the scoring fest in game two earlier today, 11 to 10 final with the Lady Bulldogs prevailing in nine innings. And it's going to be called a ball, so one and two the count. Fouled off at the plate, so Jennings stays alive, one and two. Foul back behind the press box. One and two, still the count. And a change up foul back by Jennings. Doing a nice job to stay alive in this, this at bat against Tyson. Umpires for today behind the plate, Michael Loden at first base, Jeremy Carter, and over at third base, David Whitman. This group is rotated around this series, so we've seen all three behind the plate now. How's the ball? So evens a count two and two. And another change up. Jennings pokes it back, and it's going to be caught by a diving Alexa Scalzo. Nice play over there by the shortstop. Sports center play right there. So Jennings robbed of a hit, but definitely an excellent defensive play by Scalzo. And that'll bring up the two hole hitter for two. Union, Macy, Macy Neal. She's Neal. 0 for 1 in this game. But uh, she was two for five with a two-run home run in game two earlier today. It's called strike. So 0 and 1 now to Neal. Off-speed pitch, called a strike, 0-2. Tyson mixing that pitch in well against these Lady Bulldogs hitter, hitters. And fouls that one off down the third baseline. Stay alive, 0-2. That pitch might have hit her if she hadn't swung at it. And another foul ball out of play down the left field line. So Lady Bulldogs are all over the pitches from Tyson. Just haven't been able to string that many together or put them in a hole. Besides uh, Courtney Marler and Burke Puckett. Back in the first inning. And another off-speed pitch. That's a ball. So one and two the count now to Macy Neal. Off-speed pitch, high, out of the zone. Evens the count at two. And that one hits Macy. So she will head down to first with a hit by pitch. That one hurt. 
walk that one off. And that'll bring Courtney Marler to the plate. She's one for one today. She uh, managed to hit one that was just out of reach in no man's land. Last time up. And trainer Alex Aiden's going to check on Macy Neal over there at first base. And she's going to be all right, so everything's good down there. Marler at the plate, Tyson in the circle. One out in this home half of the third. And a ground ball foul by Marler. Coming out swinging early in this at bat. If the season ended right now, Union would have a spot in the Gulf South Conference Tournament in a couple of weeks, but the season isn't over yet, so they need to work very hard the next few weekends to solidify their opportunities there. So this a win in this game right here would go a long way towards that. Count is 1-1 one, one now to Marler. Ground ball just foul again down the third baseline. So one and two. And they are going to call Macy Neal out on the base paths. So two outs now with Marler at the plate in a 1-1 count. Another ground ball foul, one and two. Ball two, evens the count at two, two's on the board. Two's balls, two strikes, two outs. See what Marler does here with two outs in this third inning. It's gonna be popped foul out of play over the third base dugout. So Courtney able to stay alive here in this battle against Olivia Tyson. And a ground ball back up the middle past Tyson, and that'll be a base hit for Marler here with two outs. So the Lady Bulldogs have runner on first now, and Zoe Neal coming to the plate. Neal had some clutch at bats in the game earlier today. It's three was three for five with three RBIs. Batting now number 12, Another Zoe Neal. base hit would be nice right here. She's 0 for 1 so far today. Ground ball foul down the third baseline. And a ball outside, so one and one the count.
change up in the dirt. So that'll be a ball. Two and one now. Tyson mixing in that off speed pitch a lot more in this game. Trying to keep these Lady Bulldogs off balance. And a ground ball through the left side for a base hit. So two two out base hits back to back from Courtney Marler and Zoe Neal brings the extremely hot Brooke Puckett to the plate. She is one for one so far in this game, was three for five in the game earlier today, and last night she was two for three. So six for nine so far in this series is Puckett. Yes. Off speed pitch, taken for a ball high, one and oh. Uh, swing and a miss at that high fast ball, one and one. Ball outside. Two and one. And a base hit back up the middle by Puckett. Marler's on her way home, and she will score sliding in safely. RBI single by Brooke Puckett, her second hit of the game. Makes a score one to nothing in favor of the Lady Bulldogs. So back to back to back hits with two outs by Marler, Zoe Neal, and Brooke Puckett. And the Lady Bulldogs now lead one to nothing. Mackenzie Davi coming to the plate now with a fifth year senior from Scott, Louisiana. She's 0 for 1 in this game. But uh, a base hit right here would be huge with a runner in scoring position, another runner at first. Yes. Takes that one inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Comes the 1-0 pitch from Tyson. It's another ball out. McKenzie's parents, Miss Ingrid and Mr. Larry, Larry, able to make the drive this weekend. Her fiance, Bryce, not able to. So saying hello from Jackson, Tennessee. Hope you're able to watch. Called strike there, two and one. And that's a long fly ball. Does it have enough? No, it does not. But a uh, nice piece of hitting there by Davi. Just didn't get quite enough on it as the left fielder Shelby Cole, Cole able to haul that one in for the third out. But not before the Lady Bulldogs strike first. It's one to nothing going into the top of the fourth. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Oh. 
Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. And we're back here at Fessmeyer Field. It's the top of the fourth inning. Javaria Smith at the plate for Lee. 1-0 count right now. 2-0. Smith is 0-1 so far in this game. In the game earlier today, she was 3-5 for five with three RBIs. And that'll be three and one now, the count to Smith. If you're just now joining us, the Lady Bulldogs were able to score in the bottom of the third after back to back to back two out hits. So it's one to nothing. And strike two there to Smith. Riley Vaughn still in the circle. The Lady Bulldogs, she's walked one, struck out five, and allowed only two hits so far in her outings. Outing, I should say. And that's a line drive caught by Brooke Puckett out in left field. Puckett, have a day. Batting now number 10, Riley Goodridge. That'll bring Riley Goodridge to the plate. She struck out in her first plate appearance against Vaughn. Going to be a ball low, one no. Takes on for a call strike on the outside part of the plate, one and one. Two and one now the count. Swing and a miss there by Goodridge. Two and two. Ground ball, glove by Sarah Kate Thompson over at third base. And the scoop by Zoe Neal over at first. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Nice 5-3 play there. Zoe Neal, one of the best first basemen I've seen with that glove over there. Scoops just about anything that comes at her. Batting now number 18, Lainey Harris. That'll bring Loney Harris to the plate. She's 0 for 1 with the strikeout today. Takes that one high for a ball, 1 and 0. That one's fouled off over the first base bleachers. Ball high again, two and one. Another ball high, three and one.
It's a high pop-up right on the edge of the dirt and gloved by Macy Neal at shortstop, and that'll do it for the Lady Flames. In the top half of the fourth, we're headed to the bottom of the fourth. Lady Bulldogs still up, one nothing. The award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Bethel, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. We're back here in the bottom of the fourth. Lady Bulldogs are ahead one to nothing. If you're just now joining us after scoring one with two outs in the bottom of the third, Livia Tyson still in the circle for the Lady Flames. Haley Sipes at the plate for the Lady Bulldogs grounds that one back to Tyson. Fires across to Goodridge at first, and that'll be out number one. Bringing Briley Carneal to the plate, who struck out her first at bat of this game. Batting now, number nine, Riley Carneal. Change up there, taken for a strike by Carneal. Ground ball foul off the third base dugout. 0-2 quickly now to Carneal. And swing and a miss there, and that'll do it for Carneal in that at-bat as she strikes out swinging. And that'll bring Sarah Kate Thompson to the plate. So for one in this game. Batting now number that was eight, Sarah Tyson's Kate second Thompson. strikeout of the game. She has allowed only one run on five hits. Struck out two and walked one so far today in this game. After throwing three innings in game two. And a change up in the dirt. Ball one. It's going to be a called strike on the outside part of the plate. Evens the count at one. So Lady Bulldogs scored one with two outs a couple innings ago. Let's see if they, or last inning, Let's see if they can do that again here. Sarah Kate Thompson at the plate. The top of the order lurking on deck. Fouled off into the Union dugout. One and two. And popped up, caught by the third baseman, Allison Jarvey. And Lady Bulldogs go three up, three down in their half of the fourth. We're headed to the fifth. Lady Bulldogs still ahead, one nothing.
you looking for a Christian college or starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. here in the top of the fifth inning. Raleigh Vaughn still in the circle for the Lady Bulldogs. She struck out five so far in her four innings of work. Annalyn Ormsby at the plate for the Lady Flames. She struck out in her first at bat of the game. Ball in the dirt. 2-0. And they're going to say she went around, so 2-1 and one the count. It's going to be a ball, low and out. Three and one the count. Lady Flames trying to get something going here. So they've been held to two outs so far. And foul ball down the left side. So full count now to Ormsby. And a line drive past diving Sarah Kate Thompson foul. So we'll do it again, 3-2. A line drive foul down the left field line again. Still 3 2. And called strike three. That is Vaughn's sixth strike out of the afternoon. Puts away Ormsby for the first out of the fifth inning, and Allison Jarvie will come to the plate now. She was 0 for 1 in her first at bat. Eight, Allison Jarvie. So one and the count to Jarvie. Two and oh. They're gonna make us say that she went around. She did, so two and one now. To the lead third baseman.
Swing and a miss, evens the count at two apiece. And Jari fouls that off her leg, so take a second. Cover from that. Two balls, two strikes. Ava Perkins on deck. She walked in the in her first at bat, but was called out after she rounded first while Vaughn was already back in the circle. So I don't know if I've ever had that call happen before in a game, but first time for everything. And a foul ball down the left side. Jarvie staying alive in this at bat against Vaughn. One out here in the top of the fifth. Ball high, makes the count full, three and two. Line drive, and it will be fair and as it falls into left field. So Jarvie has a base hit with one out in the fifth inning. And Ava Perkins coming to the plate. Batting now number 22, Ava Perkins. Called strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-1. Keep it going, keep it going. Pop up on the infield, who wants it? It's going to be Macy Neal at shortstop to take care of that for the second out. So that brings up the left fielder, Shelby Cole, who struck out in her first plate appearance. Batting now number one, Shelby Cole. Called strike on the inside part of the plate, 0 1. Ball there, evens the count at one. And it will be a foul ball. It's Cole offered at that one as it hit her. So one and two the count. Ball two on the outside part of the plate. Two's on the board, two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the fifth inning. Long fly ball back behind the field house. ball off the third base dugout. Cole staying alive in this 2-2 count against Vaughn. Pop straight back. Two and two. And 
called strike three for Vaughn's seventh strikeout of the afternoon. That puts away the Lady Flames here in the fifth as we're headed to the bottom of the inning. Lady Bulldogs still ahead, one nothing. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. here for the bottom half of the fifth inning here in the rubber match between the Union University Lady Bulldogs and the Lee University Lady Flames. Top of the order coming up for Union and Morgan Jennings. She that is job. 0 for 2 Point. so far Morgan in this game. Jennings. See what she can do here in her third at bat against Olivia Tyson who has gone the distance so far for the Lady Flames. Jennings takes that inside for a cold strike. 0 and 1. And off-speed pitch goes over the catcher, Haley Simcoe, for ball one. And a ground ball back up the middle. Base hit for Jennings. And good start to the fifth inning for the Lady Bulldogs after that leadoff hit. That'll bring Macy Neal to the plate. She's 0 for 1 in this game so far. So getting hit by a pitch in her last at bat. Number two, Macy Neal. And a ground ball fouled on the left side. Here comes the 0-1 pitch to Macy Neal. It's going to be a called strike on the outside part of the plate. Doesn't look like they're going to throw her anything middle in as the infield is kind of shifted a little bit. At least the second baseman is. There's a big gap between first and second. And ball out, and they're going to throw down, and... Jennings will have a stolen base on the play. So one and two the count to Macy Neal as Jennings is now in scoring position over at second base after that leadoff base hit and then a stolen base. And another line drive foul over the third base dugout. Bouncing down towards the field house. Macy Neal not going down without a fight here. See if she can bat all back and get a base hit. And that's a ground ball got by the second baseman who throws across to get Macy out at first, but that it does advance Jennings to third, so with one out, 
a long fly ball could score a run potentially, but Courtney Marler hot in this game so far, two for two. See if she can add to that here with a runner at third base and one out. And shows Bunt pops it up. Well, by the third baseman, fires across, but Jennings will be safe back at third base. Brian Wallen is not happy with that outcome over at third. So two outs. Morgan Jennings still at third base. And Zoe Neal at the plate. She's one for two. Heading now number 12, Zoe Neal. And it's going to be a pop-up foul. So Owen won the count now to Zoe Neal. Check swing caught by the first baseman, Goodridge, and that'll do it for the Lady Bulldogs as they leave a runner stranded. But they are still ahead, one to nothing. We're headed to the top of the sixth. Lady Bulldogs in front. Award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Roach Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Methyl, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. back here at Bessmeyer Field for the Batting top half of the sixth 17, inning in this Lexi game three Scalzo. between Union and Lee. Alexis Scalzo at the plate for the Lady Flames to lead it off. She's one for two with a strikeout today against Riley Vaughn, who's still in the circle for the Lady Bulldogs. She struck out seven, allowed only three hits and one walk so far in her outing. Scalzo fouls that one down the left field line. Comes the 0-1 pitch from Vaughn. Scalzo shows bunt, and it's going to be foul. So 0-2 now to the Lee shortstop. It's going to be a ball out, so one and two the count now to Scalzo. And a ball high, two and two. Ball three, full count now. 
to Scalzo. And we're going to check and see if she went. She did not. So that'll be a walk for Scalzo to lead off this top of the sixth inning. So Haley Simcoe coming to the plate Haley now Simcoe. for Lee. She's one for two today. Called strike there. 0 and 1. And Marler throws it down, but hits Scalzo as she's on her way to second. So Scalzo will have a stolen base on the play. And that's a ball on Simcoe at the plate. So it's one and one the count. Lee now has a runner in scoring position. Nobody out. And swing and a miss there by Simcoe. So one and two the count now. Fouled back. Simcoe stays alive. One and two. straight back, still one and two. Bulldogs baseball happening behind us. Bulldogs ahead four to three as it stands right now. Here comes the pitch from Vaughn. And it's a high fly ball, but it will be foul. So Count remains one and two. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number eight on the game for Vaughn, and that'll be out number one in this top of the sixth inning. Scalzo still stands at second, so they do Batting have a runner in scoring position here Javaria with Javaria Smith. Smith coming to the plate. Smith is 0 for 2 in this game, but she did hit a two-run home run in game two earlier today. She was also 3 for 5 overall. Had an RBI in addition to that two-run home run. Takes that for a called strike on the outside part of the plate. Smith is one of two lefties in this lead lineup, the other one being Annalyn Ormsby. And a line drive past Sarah Kate Thompson, who just couldn't quite reach far enough to make the grab. So 0-2 the count to Smith. Ball high and out, one and two. Waste pitch there for Vaughn. She's way ahead in this at bat against Smith. Lady Bulldogs infield playing normal depth with the power hitting Smith at the plate. Morgan Jennings shifted a little bit to left field out there in the outfield. Ground ball, glove by Macy Neal at shortstop, fires across, and Smith is gonna be safe down at first base for an, with an infield hit. So runners at first and third now. For Lee with Riley Goodridge coming to the plate. Goodridge is 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this game so far. She's going to be looking for her first hit here. Batting down number 10, Riley Goodridge.
And that's going to be a long fly ball, and it's going to be gone. A three-run home run from Riley Goodridge, and the Lady Flames are now ahead in this game, three to one. The sixth inning was where it all went south last night for Union as well with when the Lady Bulldogs were ahead two to nothing all game until the top of the sixth inning when Lady Flames were able to score three. So same type thing as last night. It's just instead of three to two, it's three to one in this game. So, but Lady Bulldogs are far from out of this game as their offense can do just that if not more. So see if the Lady Bulldogs can hold them here and get back in their half of the inning and score a few runs. Batting now, number 18, Laney Harris. So Lenny Harris to the plate now. Swings and misses at that pitch. 0-1 the count. Harris is 0-2 with a strikeout in this game. In the game earlier today, she was 2-4 with two runs scored. And a called strike, so Vaughn quick pitch there. For uh, Harris was ready and set in the box, but home plate umpire Michael Loden took it, so it's 0-2. Head coach Emily Russell wants to have a word with Loden. So 0-2 the count to Laney Harris. And it's going to be fouled back. Still 0-2. That's going to be a ball. One and two. That's a ground ball. Pass diving Sarah Kate Thompson. Macy Neal makes the play. Fires across to her sister at first, and that'll be out number two in this inning. Nice play there as Thompson thought she might have an attempt at the dive there, but gets past her. Macy Neal makes the play. Batting now, number 12, so, Annalyn Ormsby. Lady Bulldogs come right back after that three-run home run from Goodridge. Called strike there, 0-1. Fouled off there. I went to the count. And a ball outside, one and two. And that's going to be a base hit. Glove by Macy Neal on the dive, but she's unable to make a throw. As 
Orms be able to beat that on the infield single. So with two outs, Allison Jarby comes to the plate. She's one for two in this game. Batting now number 12, Annalyn Ormsby. Called strike, 0 and 1. Excuse me, that's number eight, Allison Jarby. Be a ball, one and one, the count. And fouled off, one and two, the count. Ball high and out. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number nine for Riley Vaughn. So the Lady Flames strike for three runs in the top of the sixth, but Lady Bulldogs are not out yet as we head to the bottom of the sixth with a score still three to one. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. When you hear our name, know that it comes with a promise to give back to the community that built us. A promise to provide a human touch in a world that is becoming more automated. Ever since we put our roots down in Jackson in 1996, we have aspired to be community focused by supporting programs and organizations that are important to our city. At First Bank, it is our mission to be present in our community and to continue the belief that when you bank local, you get more. Member FDIC. Back here at Bessmeyer Field, here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, if you're just seven. now joining us, the Lady Bulldogs scored one with two outs in the bottom of the third. And just last half inning, the Lee University Lady Flames scored three on a three-run home run by Riley Goodridge to put them up ahead, three to one. Brooke Puckett at the plate now for the Lady Bulldogs. She takes that off-speed pitch from Olivia Tyson for a ball. Puckett's two for two with an RBI. Driving in the lone Bulldogs run so far. Some Union hitters getting loose down there. Sophie Miss Levy and Kira Finkley look to be swinging about. Puckett grounds that one to the second baseman, and she's going to be out at first. So that's the first out of the inning for the Lady Bulldogs. Down to their final five outs of this game. And that'll bring up the fifth year senior from Scott, Louisiana, Mackenzie David. Batting now number 25, Mackenzie David. Swing and a miss there. 0 and 1. Off-speed pitch there, taken for ball one, evens the count. One ball, one strike, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Six hits apiece for each team, with Lee ahead in runs, three to one. It's gonna be a pop-up from David, who wants it. It's gonna be the third baseman, Jarvie. 
So that'll be quickly two outs for the Lady Bulldogs and designated player Haley Sipes coming to the plate. She is 0 for 1 with a walk in this game. Batting now number 27, Haley Sipes. And that's going to be a called strike, 0 and 1. Sipes scored the winning run in game two earlier today when she pinch ran for David. And takes that for a ball outside, 1 and 1 the count. And fouled off, one and two. Fouls that one off the right field fence. Count remains one and two. ball so two and two the count now to Sipes two's on the board two balls two strikes two outs and called strike on that one so that'll do it for the Lady Bulldogs in their half of the sixth inning we're headed to the seventh Lee Flame is still ahead three to one Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. And we're back here in the top of the seventh inning. Lee University ahead 3-1 to one in this game three between the Lady Bulldogs and the Lady Flames. Riley Vaughn back in the circle for the Lady Bulldogs. She has nine strikeouts, two walks, and has allowed three runs on six hits so far. Eva Perkins at the plate for the Lady Flames. She's open with a walk in this game. Takes that one for a ball, 1-0. Number 22, Ava Perkins. Ball three, so quickly three and zero oh to the designated player for Lee. Three and one. It's 
going to be a pop-up on the infield. Who wants it? It's going to be Zoe Neal as she takes care of it for the first out of the inning. Batting now number one, Shelby Cole. Ball inside to Shelby Cole, who has struck out twice so far today in this game. Takes that one high and in for a ball, 2-0. and oh. And fouled off into the netting. Two and one. Gonna be a ball in the dirt. Three and one the count. And that'll be a strike, so three and two the count. And fouled off, count remains full, three and two. She, they're going to change if she went. She did not, so that's a walk for Cole. And the Lady Flames have a runner on with one out, and the top of the order coming up in Alexis Scalzo. She's one for two with a walk and a strikeout today. Batting now number 17, Lexi Scalzo. And that's going to be a strike, but it gets away from Marler, who throws it down and unable to get Cole going to second. So Flames now have a runner in scoring position with Scalzo at the plate. The count is 0-1. Shows bunt, drops it down. Vaughn fields it, fires across to Carneal at, sec at first. So that's the second out of the inning, but Cole moves up to third, and the Lady Flames have two outs, a runner on third base, and Haley Simcoe at the plate. Simcoe is one for three with a strikeout Batting this game. Batting number 27, Haley Simcoe. Called strike on the outside part of the plate on one. Mohan out, evens the count, one and one. Looks like Macy Neal calls time to meet with her pitcher in the circle.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. pitch from Vaughn and it's going to be high in the air who wants it it's going to be Puckett out and left and she hauls that one in for the third out so Lady Bulldogs down to their last three outs they are down three to one see what happens in the bottom of the seventh inning Are you looking for a Christian college or starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. Meyer Field. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Lady Bulldogs end of their final three outs here as they are down three to one against the Lady Flames of Lee University. We're going to have a pinch hitter, hitter here 16, for Sophie Miss Levy. Probably Carneal. It's going to be number 16, Sophie Miss Levy. Miss Levy is a freshman this season from Gulf Breeze, Florida, of Gulf Breeze High School. Let's see what she can do here against Olivia Tyson and the Lady Flames. Takes that one for a called strike on the inside part of the plate. She has yet to get her first hit as a Lady Bulldog. See if she can get that here. Takes that one high for a ball, one and one. She has walked once in her her chances. Ball high and out, two and one the count. Looks like there will be another pinch hitter after Sophie Miss Levy as uh, Kira Finkley waits on deck. Me a called strike. Gives a count at two, so two and two. Yes. And that's going to be ball three. So full count now, three and two. Two. The freshman. Comes a 3-2 pitch. And fouled straight back by Miss Levy, staying in this at bat. Base runner here would be huge as the Lady Bulldogs are down two currently. Now 
Fouls it back again, so Sophie putting up a good fight here. And fouled straight back again. She's all over it. Last two, last three foul balls have been straight back in the net. See if she can straighten one out here. And the shadows are creeping across the Westmeyer Field outfield. And that'll be ball four, so that's a walk for Sophie Miss Levy. Great at bat there for the freshman. So, and the ball is out in the infield as uh, catcher Haley Simcoe overthrew her pitcher Tyson, but second baseman Laney Harris able to get it. So head coach Emily Russell headed for a visit in the circle. Your life. Your home. Your business your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. And here comes the pitch in Kara Finkley's first at bat of the series. She takes that one for a called strike on the inside part of the play, 0 and 1. And that'll be called strike two, so 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss, so strike out for Kira Finkley, and that'll be out number one. That brings the top of the order to the plate for Union, and Morgan Jennings, who is one for three in this game so far. Batting now number one, Morgan Jennings. And a ground ball back to the pitcher. She will fire across to first, and that'll be the second out of the inning, bringing Macy Neal to the plate. Neal is 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch in this game. But the Lady Bulldogs have a runner in scoring position. One swing of the bat could tie it. See what happens Batting here number two, Macy with Neal. the senior from Dyer, Tennessee at the plate. Comes the pitch, change up, called strike. Good take there by Macy. And she probably would have been out in front of that one if she had swung, even though it looked pretty. That change in speed makes a whole lot of difference. And that's a base hit back up the middle. Carneal is around third and she's gonna hold up. And the ball gets away from the catcher, Simcoe. And now the Lady Bulldogs have runners on second and third with Courtney Marler coming to the plate. So the tying run stands on second base right now. The winning run is at the plate. 
Big opportunity here for Marler, who is two for three in this game. Batting down number four, Courtney Marler. And she'll take that one for a ball high, 1-0. Oh. Ground ball, base hit up the middle. That's going to get away. We're going to, Macy Neal's on the way to the plate and she's going to score. So that base hit up the middle ties the game. And Courtney Marler stands at second base, the winning run, with Zoe Neal at the plate. These Lady Bulldogs have fight, folks. Haven't laid down once in this series. As evidenced by their 11 to 10 win in nine innings just a few hours ago. They are now tied three to three in the seventh. Base hit could win it. If not, we're headed to extras again. That Big opportunity here for Zoe the junior Neal. from Dyer, Tennessee. Comes the pitch from Tyson. Called strike on the inside part of the plate. A 1-1. One, one. And that'll be a ball high. Evens the count at one. Courtney Marler stands at second base. She tied the game with that RBI base hit just a second ago. Big game for her, three for four. That'll be a ball out, so two and one. Zoe Neal ahead in the count. Comes the pitch. High ball three. Three one the count. It's got to be perfect here for Zoe to swing. Simple base hit could potentially win this ball game. Zoe hit the game tying base hit in game two earlier today. And it's ball four, so a walk for Zoe Neal. Puts runners at first and second, two outs, and Brooke Puckett coming to the plate. Puckett has had a weekend. She's two for three in this game with an RBI. Batting now number seven, Brooke Puckett. See if she can walk it off here for the Lady Bulldogs in the bottom of the seventh inning. Takes that one inside for a called strike. 0 and 1. And a change up. Floats in there for a called strike. Puck it down quickly 0 and 2. See if she can stay in this at bat here and battle her way through it. And another off-speed pitch there, but it's high out of the zone. So one and two now to Brooke Puckett. Now 
And a swing and a miss strikeout. So we are headed to extras here in Jackson, Tennessee, after the Lady Bulldogs tied this game at three apiece. Riley Vaughn headed back to the circle. We'll be back with you shortly. The award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Bethel, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. back here in the top of the eighth inning. This is the third game of this series, also the third game that these two teams have been in extra innings against each other as the game last night went eight. The game earlier today went nine, and we're in the eighth inning that here. Now in game Javaria three, Smith. Javaria Smith at the plate for the Lady Flames. Riley Vaughn back in the circle for the Lady Bulldogs. Vaughn has thrown all seven innings so far, starting the eighth here. Takes that for a called strike, does Javaria Smith. She's one for three today. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2 the count. It's going to be a ball, one and two. And that'll be a ball outside. Evens a count at two. Fouled straight back. And the count remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Ten strike out of the afternoon for Riley Vaughn, and that's one out here in the top of the eighth inning. Riley Goodrich coming to the plate. She hit a three-run home run her last at bat, which put the Lady Flames ahead in the top of the sixth. Now number 10, that Riley lead erased Goodrich. as the game is now tied, three to three. Off-speed pitch there in the dirt. Ball one. And she offered it that one, so evens the count at one. Pops that one up. Is it going to stay in play? It is not as it goes over the stands on the third base side. So one and two the count. Swing and a miss. Two strikeouts in a row for Riley Vaughn. So two outs now in the top of the eighth. 
And Laney Harris coming to the to the plate. He's over through the strikeout today, playing second base in this game for the Lady Flames. Batting now number 18, Laney Harris. And that's a ball high, 1-0. Fouls that one back. Evens the count. One and one. We have ball high. Two and one the count to Lanny Harris. Sun's starting to set here in Jackson, Tennessee on this beautiful April afternoon. Swing and a miss, evens the count. Two's on the board, two balls, two strikes, two outs. This win will be big for either team as it could play a role in who makes it to the GSC tournament in a couple of weeks. So both teams putting everything they have into it. Fly ball into the outfield, who wants it? It's gonna be center fielder Morgan Jennings ranging over to grab that ball. So. Three up, three down, go the Lady Flames in the top of the eighth. We're headed to the bottom of the eighth where the Lady Bulldogs will look to walk it off. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. Welcome back to Fessmeyer Field. It's the bottom of the eighth inning here in game three between the Lady Bulldogs of Union and the Lady Flames of Lee. Mackenzie Davi, a fifth year senior from Scott, Louisiana, coming to the plate. She is 0 for 3 so far today. A hit right here would be big. Going a long way to hopefully walking this game off for Union. Olivia Tyson back in the circle for Lady Flames. She struck out five so far this afternoon. David takes that one for strike one. Oh, and one the count. And the ball inside evens the count one and one. Lavi has the third most home runs on the team right now. Another one will be huge right here. And she fouls that one off her leg. Good thing she has that leg guard on. Otherwise, that probably would have hurt a lot more. One and two the count. And that's going to be a ball on that off-speed pitch. Evens the count, two and two. And ball inside, full count now, three and two to McKenzie David.
And that'll be ball four, so a walk for David to lead off this bottom of the eighth inning. And there's going to be a pinch runner here. Cameron Langley is going to come in to run for David. So big at bat there from David to get a leadoff base runner on for the Lady Bulldogs. And the speedy Cameron Langley coming in to run. And Haley Sipes, the designated player at the plate for Union, she is 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout in this game. See if she can get a base hit here. She drops that bunt down. It's going to be fair. Catcher. Wild throw. Langley's on her way to third, and she's going to be stopped at third base. Sipes standing at second base. So the Lady Bulldogs have runners on second and third. Nobody out. What a spot here for Briley Carneal coming to the plate. Lady Bulldogs second baseman in this game. And there's going to be a meeting in the circle with the Lee infield. See what they decide to do here. Are you looking for a Christian college or starting the college search process? I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed. to resume play. Carneal at the plate. Batting now number nine. Haley Riley Sipes at second Carneal. and Cameron Langley at third. And ball low for ball one, so one and oh. Shows Bunt, gets it down. Langley coming home, and she's going to score. That's another walk-off for the Lady Bulldogs. Two in one day. Walk-off infield single Bunt style for Briley Carneal. And that's a series win for the Lady Bulldogs as they top the Lady Flames four to three in eight innings. In the circle for the Lady Bulldogs, Riley Vaughn pitched a complete game, allowing... Only three runs, six hits, and three walks while striking out 11. Overall, the Lady Bulldogs had nine hits. One from Morgan Jennings, one from Macy Neal, three from Courtney Marler, one from Zoe Neal, two from Brooke Puckett, and one from Briley Carneal to win the game. And that'll do it here at Fessmeyer Field. Join us again on Tuesday, April 16th. The Lady Bulldogs will take on Lang College at home for a midweek game at 6 o'clock here at Fessmeyer Field. And then this coming weekend, starting April 19th, they will have a GSC matchup against the University of Montevallo starting at 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday, April the 19th. We'll see you then. For now, it's it's been a good series of softball here as Union was able to take two of three from Lee University, and they are still within playoff contention here, which will take place in a couple of weeks. My name is Grace White. It's been a pleasure calling for you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.
Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. When you hear our name, know that it comes with a promise to give back to the community that built us. A promise to provide a human touch in a world that is becoming more automated. Ever since we put our roots down in Jackson in 1996, we have aspired to be community focused by supporting programs and organizations that are important to our city. At First Bank, it is our mission to be present in our community and to continue the belief that when you bank local, you get more. Member FDIC.